we don't normally think of needing a rain gauge this time of year, but for many of us, we've been fortunate enough over the past several weeks to get a little bit of rain, and probably it comes back to your mind to go out and check the rain gauge or cylinder. Well, joining me today is eight-year-old Natalie Prater, who's from Stillwater, Oklahoma, and Natalie is going to show me how to make a rain gauge that the kids can make. So you want to gather the kids around because this is very interesting. Hi, Natalie. How are you today? Fine. Now tell me what we're doing here. How do you make this kind of rain gauge? Okay, what you do first is you're going to take a bottle, any kind, and you need to pick out a color, I mean, a little picture that you like, right. and um, that will fit the bottle, and you need a little side over here to make the measuring. Okay. And stick the paper inside and then put a, um, a little piece of tape on each side so it will stay perfectly and then you need to take a sharpie line marker to trace it. Okay. And then... And, and you were telling me that if the picture that you want to use to trace isn't fit you can shrink it or yeah. reduce it or enlarge it on a copy mm -hmm. machine. And also you used a solvent didn't you to clean off the yes. plastic pop bottles I guess mm -hmm. to get the stickers off or the the tags. And then a sharpie marker and it's permanent. Now what are you uh, you're coloring it then, right? Yes. Okay, and you're using a paint writer, which is a fabric and craft paint, right? Yeah. Now this is one that you did earlier, mm -hmm. correct? On a bigger yes. bottle. What what kind of design do you have there? It's a butterfly and some flowers. Okay. Now uh, this one your mom did, didn't yes. she? Now, many of you have seen uh, Natalie's mom on the show. She's one of our volunteer ambassadors, Leanne, and of course her husband, Jay, your dad is too, and yes. your brother's even been on the show. The whole uh -huh. family's involved, but here's a nice one that was done with the Oklahoma Gardening logo. Now, why don't you start painting on that one, and I'm going to tell them a little bit about the gauges here, how to measure it. If, if you look at your rain gauge that you purchased, you'll notice that they all have a pretty level or flat side to them to, to measure it. But on the pot bottles, you'll notice at the bottom it's actually curved there. So Leanne went to one of our uh, meteorologists on campus and he gave us a recipe or a formula, I guess you could say, on how to correctly do that because you want to measure it properly. And what we're doing with that uh, is taking the diameter of the bottle, the one that we're going to use, and this one is four and a quarter inches. Then you take the diameter of another container that has flat sides to it, and the one we're using is a little glass jar that's three and a quarter, and you divide the diameter of this bottle by this one. That number came out to 1.30, and then you square that number, and that turned out to be 1.7 inches. And so what you do is you fill water in this one, 1.7 inches worth, pour it inside, and we're gonna show you and it comes out and that's where you make your first mark for the inch. Once you get past the curve, you just use the regular increments on a ruler to get your measurements. And then she just divided down three quarter or 50% to get the measurements below. So obviously there's a little bit of difference. That may be something you wanna do as an adult or even teenage kids might wanna do that to work out the mathematics a little bit more. You're more interested in just making it pretty, aren't you? Yeah. And you're doing a good job. Now, you tell me, too, that this paint doesn't wash off, does it, after it's uh -uh. dried? Well, listen, that's a great idea. Now, you, you got this idea from Better Homes and Garden yes. Magazine, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Natalie. You did a good job, and hopefully some of the kids out there are going to enjoy this project, too. Okay. Keep up the good work. All right.